already guaranteed in prize money for Martin Luckman, the biggest payday of his career. Um, as he was saying, it's all about having fun, all about enjoying himself, giving it a go. Yeah, Martin Luckman, who won £8,000 in prize money last year. Wow. He's well and truly eclipsed that this year. The plan was to keep all of his tour card this year. He's well and truly done that. He's knocking on the door of the world's top 40. He's gone up 16 spots just in his event alone. It's been a fantastic year, but... Good pause from Arsenal, double-checking. Yeah. Oh, continue to smile. 113 to get the first leg. Part of his charm, but he's got a chance here. If Luckman can't take out 140, already nailed a 113 in the opening leg. Nathan Aspinall to lead top. Good lead from Luckman, though. Aspinall looking to force his way through. Yeah, he was never going to get through there. It was tricky. It'd be an argument to do, go another route there, but paying the price here for not getting away with his first three darts. The beauty of the double start, if you make a mess of it, you lose the leg. Because of that fact, I always say a breaker throw is not as secure in this environment, in this format, as it is in the normal tournaments we play. Take an unlikely set of results, not so much here. Lukeman very capable, not that mad as Rasmus isn't, I'm just... Really impressed with how Gedwin Price has deal with the situation. And he just looks focused, keeping himself to himself during the week. 82. Really wants this title back, and it was only an inspired Johnny Clayton that stopped him last year. So fond memories of this event, Gedwin Price. Six. So for the set. Double eight. Yeah, oh, really good stuff there from Nathan Aspinall. Prepared to work at it. From having a tour card being under threat, and you lose your tour card at the first attempt, you kind of think, I'm out of my depth. So suddenly, being in a quarter final of a TV major and knocking on the do door of the world's top 40, some turnaround from Martin Lupin this year. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Martin Lupin, 147. Double. 18, yeah. 147. Yeah. What a shot from Lutman. But well, we talked him up and we talked him up. And he's shown okay. us just why we should keep talking him up. Sporting ignores by Nathan Aspel. What a shot. Advantage Lutman. That was the setup. Good adjustment. And this has been really good. A really good leg for Martin Lutman. Throw into level up in sets. Or well, potentially going two sets down, it's a massive turnaround with 12 darts thrown, 69, but there's the pressure. And this is very missable, he may only get one dart. Deep breath, don't miss count. One dart, he's already missed one at tops for the set, not this time. Wow. Six darts from 198, that's what Aspinall will be thinking. This point, he does find a treble. Yeah, it will be happy. You can see the expression on his face. He knows likely to get a go at 1 3 8, but he should have set that up a lot better. Treble 17, the likely target. We've seen this hit by his stablemate Chris Doby earlier on in the week. Doby in our final match, he even went this route as well. Double 12 for a 1 3 8. Brilliant from Nathan Aspinall. The disappointment of the layer. What a response and how focused he was on that 138. A big shot. A third turn plus finish of the match. And we see that's what Nathan Aspen's all about. The emotion. Six. And you're 115. 138, 113. I think, wasn't it? 83. Well, that's okay. He's averaging 107 and change in this set. And he's surely about to win it in three straight legs. 
Oh, blink of an eye as well. And playable in this set, yeah. Aspinall met it is. Looked certain to be going Nathan Aspinall's way. Lucky. It was the right shot, either treble 14 or treble 20. So he plays, use the ball, but give yourself the best chance, and Luton did try, but Aspinall to stumble over the line in this second leg, really. Four, he hit a 180 in this leg, and he's missed four darts to win it. Advantage, surprisingly, to Martin Lukman. Take the tops. To send us one leg away from the side in set. Well done, Martin Lukman. Nathan has been disappointed. And yet another five setter in this year's World Grand Prix. Shake of the head, he's done really well. What a brave effort. Raspinall forces a deciding leg, and Martin Lutman has missed one at the ball. Uh, Aspinall had the chance. He ain't taking it. You can never write this man off as we've seen this week here in Leicester. You feel Aspinall needs the lock. I wouldn't say the lock, turn 40. But yeah, a turn. Yeah, not really pressing, he can't now. And this surely is heading to a deciding set. Lukeman deserves a deciding set, to be fair. He's dug in deep, chased throughout the match. No pressure on this 80. Be back. His finishing has been pretty good, you know. It's actually 10 legs to six in favour of Nathan Aspinall. That matters not. Oh, that's a great guy. Surely this time! Wow! He saves it! He saves his bacon! He saves the match! Not in this leg. You mentioned the leg score, it's 11 7. That's because Nathan has raced through the sets on his darts. And they've got all the way on Lukeman's. And in all likelihood, unless Lukeman can pull out another turn plus finish, Nathan. We'll have darts to go one away from the semi-finals. He's on a double, though, that he's not been too prolific on. That's been his start in double-double 16. Oh, 91. 32. Aspinall to go one away. And he is one away. And if he can start, like he's finished on double 16 there, it could be the beginning of the end for Martin Lukeman. Responded to every setback so far, Lukeman. But this that Lukeman has hit mark at all for me, been at crucial times in the match, yet to hit a maximum. Saying there, Michael Van Gerwen plays oh, Stephen Bunting, outplays Stephen Bunting. 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 The leg difference, the outscoring, it's the same here. But you hang around, timing and Lukeman's timing has been spot on. Six. And could force a decider, but that. Offers Nathan another chance. Pushing the dart. That's better. Oh, oh yes. No reaction. No reaction. He should get at least one match dart here. Yeah. Luke been looking to apply pressure, oh, but now Nathan Aspel had a shot on 96. Didn't get a go with the double. But this time he should get at least one dart for a place in the semi finals of the World Grand Prix. And he only needs one dart and Nathan Aspinall. He's got to throw firmer than this. They're weak, they really are. Maybe a bit edgy at the moment, a bit nervy. Yeah, the start of the first leg all went according to plan for Mathers, didn't it? And then it unraveled at the back end of the leg. Yeah. Horribly. 
66. Just looking at the way the darts are going in. He doesn't throw with too much force anyway, Madders. He flicks the dart up, but Price, his darts are, are going in well there. They look to be thrown with timing. He'll use that, won't he? And the opening two legs both go the way. Price is in a decent situation here. Without really showing us his A game in any way, shape or form. 92. Gathering Uruguay 57. 17 for tops for the first set. Well, that went according to plan for Gellerwin Price. That's what I was saying about Madders Rasmus and his timing. 40. Didn't even have enough momentum. He's correctly that time, Rodri. It was indeed. 88 needed for the Welshman. Looking 48 for tops. Well, finds three 16s in the end. He wanted to do it in one dart. He did it in three to leave tops. We're seeing a huge golfing class here, aren't we? Yeah, Gerwin Price hasn't hit the heights of last night, but a 93 average in this format is worth about three figures in a straight start darts match, you'd say, and he mops up tops and wins another leg. Throwing that away in uh, disgust. 15 darts up. I'm surprised. to a finish here, the Latvian. Price wants double six, eastern side. Oh dear, this is a fumbling for a finish here, unexpectedly, and this would be burglary on the board. 51 for 24. Tops. And when a few crumbs drop off Kevin Price's table, you've got to gobble them up, haven't you? I'm not sure he quite believed that that was going to go in. And Price ensures... ...see three darts in the board and know what it is, because it's such a common pattern of darts. Patterns, but, it's sequences, that's all it is. Yes, but you're quite right, you know, two treble 19s and a treble 17 or something is not a usual pattern, is it? Yeah. That's how the, the best dart players in the world work. A, a 1 4 6 finish is it's 60 54 32. If you go that way, it, it, you don't actually kind of just add and take away the numbers. Michael Van Gerwen, because they're on this collision course. Price looking almost in the semi final. Michael was in the quarter final later tonight, but he's got some tough ties to get through. Is, yeah. is that how you are beginning to get a, a sense of what we could see on a Sunday night now? Yeah, I think it's obviously it's a possibility, but. I, Peter Wright and Dimitri will have something to say. Both champions, both winners, and that game for me is the one that you just think that if it's not Van Gerwen or Price, it comes from that. Mm -hmm. and that's just everyone else's view as well, I suppose. You know that Nathan Aspen always threw. If he can get his A game going, another champion there. 54. It's moving to the left. Okay. 61. Well, there has not been a three figure outshot in this match yet. Yet. Tops. And now there is. So that. Becomes the first three figure out shot, the highest finish of the match. Gatwin Price 107. This may get a little interesting if he can thwack in about three or four more 57s in this leg. Because if he can break, he will have to throw in the deciding leg of this set. But Gatwin Price is doing so much right now. I think this will be the decisive leg, don't you? Yes. And the look on Madder's face. No, 
no mercy from the Iceman no. here whatsoever. From start to finish, Rodri, it's been a, an annihilation. Yes, the 419s tease up tops and Gatwin Price with the most dollar of display. Railroads Rasper out of the World Grand Prix. So a command in position, but Dimitri van den Berg's had a good leg here as well. Looking really, really comfortable here. What a lag. Hitting the ground running. What a lag. Peter Wright here is on a genuine 10 data with a double in. A genuine 10 data. Look, look at the beach of wow. Burr. Look where he is in the leg. But he may not get a go. Eight after 12 darts. What a lad. Best lad of the tournament so far. He is the current world champ, lest we forget. He appeared in the final here once, though, hasn't he? And he's only he'd be on the court, been in the quarterfinal twice. He lost out to Menchel Sulevich on one occasion. And then in the only final appearance, he lost out to Michael Van Gerwen. And we could see a rematch of that tomorrow. But this man will have his say. It's been really good from Dimitri van den Berg. That was really unfortunate to be two legs to nil down. Well, it could be a set down. Yeah, wonderful, yeah, wonderful yeah. set from Peter Wright. Which do you require? 95. No pressure on this. Double 19, first shot. Double eight for this one. 87. Yeah, you drive it. You know, right won't be too down hard, so he, he has the darts in the next one. And then, wow, wow, if he can force a decider, all the pressure then returns to the, Dimitri Vandenberg. Yeah, but at the minute, Dimitri Vandenberg is not showing any signs it's going to wilt in the pressure. That, that, yes, it's four warning legs, but those three legs were. Phenomenal in the opening set, but there we are. Two one, Dimitri van den Berg. Dimitri van den Berg would have liked to make a little bit more inroads here, but knows he's got the throw, got to get in. He goes up the side leg, which is looking very likely. Ah, lovely from van den Berg will come down. Disappointing last one, so. Peter right here looking to level this second set. Already taken out 130. He's going to get a shot here at 144. Fantastic. It was never in doubt, was it? Never in doubt. Now all the pressure really does fall. Dimitri van den Berg needs to follow with a turn 40 minimum. Credit Dimitri van den Berg. Brilliant from Dimitri. He's done really well to stick around in this leg, but will he get a shot of the 66? This is for a two-set lead. Oh, wow, that was special from Vandenberg. How special will this be for Peter Wright? Oh, wow. Big moment, but I'm telling you what, the 180 was brave and brave and brave, and he deserves a shot here. One that for one set all. Oh, just the wrong side of the wire. Thought he'd use treble ten. Went for the ball, smaller target. But Peter Wright for a two set lead. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I just cannot believe that dart from Peter Wright. Neither can he, neither can Dimitri. It should be two sets to nil to Peter Wright. But, and it's a big but. It's one set and all. Wow. He wouldn't be a part of that event when he hit a nine dart on that Grand Slam stage. But he's not the only high profile admission so far. The champion of two years ago, De Souza, not there, Gary Anderson, James Wade. The only two ever present currently not in spots to qualify, so it could be all change in some aspects of the Grand Slam this year. The 
for now, it's full focus on the World Grand Prix. 58, maybe you require 58. Yeah, 58 scored, 58 required. Early in the match, Peter, Peter Wright recovered really well here. 83. Maybe you require 10. Straight for it, or the split. Mm -hmm. Straight for it, it is. Game strong at five. Yeah, good darts, aggressive. Six at 189. To go one set away. He'll settle for a 10. He might come down now, though. Wow, good last night, he was brave. The argument for coming down is if he didn't hit the treble, he's even 129. You've got to spread around. The 130 could have stayed on the target, but 86. no harm done. Do you require 89? Should have been two sets down. And now yeah, leads yeah, by two yeah. sets to one. Well, a penny for them, Peter. A penny for oh, those shit. thoughts. First leg to wow. Well, Again, missing a double, but Dimitri nowhere near. Looks like a two-leg lead in coming for Peter Wright. Sixteen. He did require eighteen. Straight for it, I think. That confidence for you with Vandenberg nowhere near. Game and that's why. Second. And he does double his lead in Third this fourth set. The Very best in the business. Going toe to toe. Peter Wright. Needing a leg here to force a deciding wow, wow. set. First of three sets to go through to a semi-final against either Michael Van Gerwen or Chris Doby. We already know that the first semi-final will feature Nathan Aspinall, a winner earlier against the unseeded Martin Lukman, the debutant Martin Lukman. As Van der Berg here looking for a huge finish, one for the eight. Fantastic from Van der Berg. We've had three big finishes already. The big story of this match. 94 is a really poor return. Another big miss from Peter Wright. So all of a sudden, the leg where he hit a 180 and was favourite to win and win the set. He was two legs to the good in this set. The tie is out of his hands now. Another big mistake. Vandenberg. Can he convert? He can. And there we see the first sort of negative reaction we've had from Dimitri Vandenberg. Are we going to a decider? We are, and we're not complaining, and it's about right. Focus, concentration, belief, and a huge amount of skill. Maximum number five for Peter Wright, and averaging in this set over 110. And considering the setbacks he's had, this is incredible. He believes in himself, Peter Wright. Just listen to his interviews. But he's backing it up here. So this is the guy that will be back. Vandenberg's just got to hope he can set up here and get some errors out of Peter Wright, which we have seen at times in the match, but... He's looking a different sort of focus to Peter Wright now. To, to go within a lag of victory. Game shot, second leg. Peter Wright leads by two legs to nil. 
and he's won five out of the last six legs. Friday night drama. Looks like all coming down to one leg. All Peter Wright can open up there's a poor setup shot here. And he can apply some pressure. Ah, oh, really good last start. From Vandenberg, and he will get three darts to level us up. Just in case. Leg 21. We have a thrilling quarter final. And Dimitri van der Berg guarantees we're going to have leg 22. We go the distance. Step in there. That's perfect for three. I'm going to be disappointed if it isn't a 140. Only 100. To finish. Not the time for the visit without a treble for Peter Wright, and he's got one already. Oh, fabulous! 25, uh, 25 is the shot. Or well, the ball, obviously. But the 25 leaves a single to double. I mean, for treble 14. And any other treble for that matter there. This is incredible drama. But as Dimitri van der Berg writing his last chapter, he's given himself a chance if Peter Wright misses more match darts. He's missed five darts for the match. You can feel it. You can feel the tension. Van der Berg could not look. Unbelievable! Once more, the setup shot from Dimitri Vandenberg has forced the error. Can he capitalise? Oh, match starts! He can't believe it. How close were they? And a let off for Peter Wright. Don't you just love this sport? And the drama it dishes up, time after time, nights after night, tournament after tournament. Well, this is a uh, 16. I, I, I have no words. I think he's just 16. resigned that okay, I have the start, I'm gonna take the next leg. He's convincing himself anyway. Yeah, well, this has got a bit more drama in it than he wanted. Oh, so dear. And this is where Wenger was regretting not uh, doing more with that last visit. Treble 19 for tops. Well, 112 from nowhere, maybe no. Oh, Chris is just composing himself. The players' table there. High or in? There you go. Relying on the old madhouse. Options here. Oh, Leaf stops. Yeah, it was always a setup visit in reality. Exactly what he's done. You want a better look at the tops than he had when he started the leg, though. 81. I by 40. For the first set, job yes, done. On MVG set. on the march. I think that's key there. Yep. He's kind of mad. You could see it in his eyes. He needed two. Yeah, the one treble, and it was. Treble first dart as well. That's so good. He had a 180 to leave oh, tops in the first leg. He's at 171 to leave 24 in this leg. Yeah. What setup play? The best. Oh! 170. <laughs> Nearly a wasted 171. Nearly. Then Gerwin threw a good dart of that. He just missed. 
for 2 0 in this yeah. set. This is brilliant from Chris Dobie. Punished. Is a ton punishment really? And that's all it is. Again, Van Gerwen letting that that liar, that that guide get away from him. He almost made up for only getting a ton in the last leg by taking out one five seven. Yeah. Almost. I think the one two four is a little more realistic. It's in the locker. Very doable this. Treble. No. Bullseye. He went from the locker to the bank. Look at that. It's all gone wrong for Chris Doby. Or has it? Or has it? Yeah. They're, they're both a little desperate, aren't they? Yeah, well, this is where you need to first start treble if you're Doby and get the 140. Yeah. Can he build off of that? No, but good cover. Great stuff. Get these one, two, two. Much easier than Van Gerwen's one, four, five. One, four, five. He took this out to win his first Grand Prix in 2013 against Mervyn King. It's not going to happen this time, but he's going to leave it double Andy. But Doby on one, two, two. He'll fancy at least the dart, the bullseye, surely. That's the good start. Stays right there. Now it's double seven for a level match. And he's got him. Chris Dobie. What a one, two, two. The World Grand Prix. There's been over 740 matches. And there's only been 20, 100 plus averages. Michael's averaging 99 right now. That's how rare performances like this are. And that. He's a 118, and that's a 2 1 lead in this the third set. And he will come back for it. Maybe 25 to leave the same. Not quite there. You have to, Dobie has to get this. All the ton plus finishes Michael has, you cannot let him come back to the board. Double 10. I like the fact he stayed there. Oh no, he pulled it. Late release. The dart then falls low. Tops for a heartbreaker. That was a little quick. That was a little ratted. Yeah, but lucky for MVG, he'll be reset back to 100. Every pro fancies a ton, though, John. Same way or tops? Well, I didn't want the same way. <laughs> Fair point. Well, this is a shame for Dobie in that double 15. Is it the undoing of it? It may possibly be. Anyone have a crack at 141 this week yet? Or actually 161, excuse yeah. me. <laughs> and look at Dobie. John, you're right, it's gutsy, but we, we know he's world class, but he's. He's showing oh, it against someone who's playing quite beautifully. Yeah, under the harshest of circumstances, competitively. Ninety-seven. Oh, Michael one hundred and five. Tops, tops. Of course, he's going to finish yeah, tops, yeah, tops. Yeah. That is a performance of the very highest order from Michael Van Gerwen.